For a pair of conjugate acids and bases, the Ka value of the acid times the Kb value of the base is always going to be equal to Kw. In this video, I'm going to walk through the derivation of that relationship. We're going to start by considering the weak acid HCN. I'm just picking this acid just because it's one of my favorites. And I am going to write an equation for this HCN molecule reacting with water. Because it's a weak acid, it reacts with water in equilibrium, and the products of the reaction are the cyanide ion, Cn minus, and the hydronium ion, H3O plus. And if we wanted to write an equilibrium expression for this weak acid, it would be Ka is equal to cyanide times H3O plus, our two products over HCN, our reactant. And remember, we're leaving out water from the equilibrium expression because it's a pure liquid. Even though I didn't include any of the states on any of these molecules, just because I'm lazy. If HCN is an acid in this reaction, and H2O is the base, and HCN over on the product side turn in, turns into the cyanide ion, which makes cyanide the conjugate base of HCN. So HCN and CN minus are conjugate acids and bases, or the conjugates of each other. So let's write another equation, let's write another reaction, this time for cyanide, the conjugate base of HCN. We're gonna write the reaction for cyanide reacting with water. So we're just kind of looking at cyanide's ability to be a base all by itself. Cyanide as a base um, is going to grab the H plus ion from water. It's going to make HCN and it's going to leave water as OH minus. If we wanted to write an equilibrium expression for this, it would be a Kb, again, because cyanide is a base, so it would be a Kb. And this Kb would be HCN times OH minus, our two products of the reaction, divided by CN minus, the reactant. So those are, so what we have done so far is we have an acid and we have its conjugate base. We've written two reactions for the acid and the conjugate base reacting with water. And then we've written the equilibrium expression for the acid and the base. So what we're trying to do is derive this equation up here. So what I'm gonna do is just start filling stuff in. We're trying to figure out how Ka times Kb is equal to Kw. So what I'm going to do is take the Ka equilibrium expression. Instead of writing Ka, I'm going to write Cn minus H3O plus over HCN. And again, what I've done there is just taken the Ka, which is this right here. I've written it in this spot. And I'm going to put some big parentheses around this whole thing. And now I'm going to write the Kb. That's this guy right here. The Kb is HCN times OH minus over cyanide. And let's take a look. Um, we know that we know from, from what's being provided to us, we know that this is going to be equal to Kw. Let's take a look at these two terms and see if there's anything that we can cancel out and get rid of. So we see that we've got cyanide on the top and the bottom, so that's going to cancel. We've got HCN on the bottom and the top, so that's also going to cancel. What we're going to be left with is H3O plus times OH minus is equal to Kw. And this is the expression for Kw. Kw, the equilibrium expression for water, is H3O plus times OH minus. So there's the derivation. Now you might be wondering, who cares? Why does anybody care about this? There are going to be situations coming up um, in the next few videos where we have been provided with a Ka, but what we actually really need is the Kb value, or maybe vice versa. So this equation is going to be helpful for us when we are being given a Ka, but we need to actually know Kb, or the other way around. So this is a very important equation for you to tuck away, because we will, nope, not that equation. That's not the one that's very important. Um, this is a very important equation for you to tuck away because this is an equation that we'll need to use quite a bit.